Hello everyone, this is Jim G from Jim G's Coaching Club, and I want to welcome you to my passive income creative real estate investing video cheat sheet on wholesaling houses for newbies. How to wholesale real estate in 2019, 2020, and crush it. A simple step-by-step -step guide. But before we get started, people ask me all the time, why do you do this? They say, you're a very successful real estate investor. You've been investing nearly 30 years. You've made millions of dollars. And you currently have a sizable passive income real estate portfolio. So why do you do this? And my answer is pretty simple. If any of you know me, you know that I'm passionate about real estate. But you also know that I'm even more passionate about helping new and seasoned investors quickly start and rapidly grow their passive income, high cash flow, creative real estate and Airbnb portfolios. And I love to do that so that they can stop chasing deals, laying up at night wondering when they will get their first or their next deal. Stop trading valuable time away from their family and loved ones so that they can have the income to pay the bills, to take that vacation, or just begin living that life that they know they should be living, enjoying and sharing their God-given gifts and, and doing the things that they're passionate about, like spending more time with their family and their loved ones, traveling, giving back to their church, and doing more for their community. That's why I'm passionate about doing this for those reasons. And if that sounds like you or your situation, then at any time during or following this video, if you'd like to set up a one-on-one -on -one live session with me, click the link below to schedule a free strategy call. And I will personally sit with you on a live one-on-one -on -one session and I'll give you additional insight and tools to help you get where you want to go and more importantly where you know you should be okay and also at the end of this video I will provide you with a link so you can download a free physical wholesaling cheat sheet to have with you anytime however if you want that cheat sheet and a few other free valuable wholesaling resources just type in cheat sheet in the comments below subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell and lastly if you get value from this video please hit the thumbs up now on to business so what is wholesaling before I answer that question let me just give you a brief introduction okay in 2019 2020 and the next few years following things are looking brighter and brighter in the real estate industry and most are saying what better way is there to establish a great source of cash flow on top of your current income real estate as a vehicle for wealth and cash flow is also looking stronger and stronger and the values are projected to grow more and more in the years to come and if you're new to real estate and don't have any experience when it comes to acquiring or selling properties, then this information is really for you. I have all the basics set and laid out here. And so we're going to get into that. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to give you some simple steps to follow to help you establish yourself as a wholesaler. This is a great year to start scouting out those properties those dream projects and and I'll just walk you through and show you how to do it okay so just stick with me for a little bit and I'll take care of you okay so usually in the beginning of the year it usually comes with resolutions and quick money making schemes and and who's to blame for that everybody does it the new year is a perfect time to get your goals aligned and to start making plans for the future. But one of the fastest ways and the best ways to build cash flow and to build wealth is actually getting into real estate. Although that may be something that sounds a little daunting if you're not 
really comfortable with real estate, what you understand is that you don't have to be intimidated because you can ease into it. And one way for you to be able to ease yourself in the re- into the real estate industry without sucking your finances dry is to get into wholesaling. It's a low cost of entry and it's a simple process. Wholesaling houses is great for people who are just getting started because it requires minimal cash and little skill set. But don't be fooled though, because it will require you to spend a lot of time and some resources to get you up and running as with most viable startup businesses. But the saving grace with wholesaling is that it has a low cost of entry when compared to most other startup businesses. And if you have people skills on your side, this is something that can really turn out to work to your advantage at the end of the day. So now, what is wholesaling? It's basically the process of acquiring properties under market value, or saying it in a different way, getting them for less than what they appraise for, okay? And you're doing that with the intent of getting them under contract and reselling them to other investors or other interested buyers that would be owner occupants in most cases. And with the right kind of timing and with a little bit of background research, you just might hit your first gold mine, which can then get the ball rolling as you move on from one property being flipped to another. With wholesaling, you can get your groove in no time, as long as you do the right market research and you build a few connections. Profits can range anywhere from $1,000 upwards to $20,000 or more depending on the property and how well you structure the deal. So without further ado, here's a few steps to get you started. Step number one, set up your short-term goals. Setting up your short-term goals is where you should begin. Think of them as your baby steps before making your big leap into the wholesaling success arena as a real estate investor. And here are the first four things you'll need to get yourself going. The first thing is a real estate investing team. You'll need a team of professionals to get the job done and to make sure that your transactions go off without a hitch. This isn't the type of thing that you can pull off alone at the end of the day, if you want to keep your sanity. So you're going to need someone that has the ability to help you find properties. You're going to need a professional who will be able to appraise properties that you're looking at within short notice. You're going to need a contractor who will take care of repairs needed on properties you need to flip and and a title company or an attorney who will help you with the documents, the contracts, and the other things necessary on the legal side that's required to get the deal done. The second thing you don't necessarily need, but it can help you in a big way. And that is to set up a blog or a website. The purpose of this is is to help you establish some sort of presence, not just in your local market, but online as well. People usually run a quick Google search of properties within a certain location before they make the move. So ensuring you have visibility in that aspect will bring in more potential leads for you on a regular basis. And at the same time, if people are planning to put their properties up on the market, online sources are also the first things they will check. So most of the blogs and websites these days have drag and drop functionality. So 
you don't need to be a programmer or have programmer level skills to get yourself up and running. And there are a lot of sites that you can source out to um, if you need help in that area. Sources like Fiverr, Upwork, and I also have, you know, some good programmers that I could connect you with if you get stuck. Okay. The third thing is acquire your first property. Now, what does that mean? Acquire doesn't mean go out and buy a piece of property. If you're one of my students, you know what acquisition is, is possession and control. Possession being you have the ability to come and go. Control meaning you have the ability to generate revenue. Okay. And in wholesaling, you may not always have the ability to come and go, but you you always have to have control. And you do that with the right paperwork, the right contracts. And if that's something you guys don't have, you can reach out to me. I have all of that stuff for you, okay? I can get you all the paperwork that you need, which will cut down on your cost with attorneys and cut down on your cost with title companies uh, because this stuff is stuff that I've been using for 20 years. I call them my million dollar contract and I make those available to my students and my listeners as well. But to acquire a piece of property, It's not that difficult if you have the right tools, as I just mentioned, and a good system. Otherwise, you're going to need someone that's really adept and skilled at finding good properties to help you out with this piece. Part of the process of finding properties is also some driving and door-to-door inquiries. But honestly, that's what most people out there are doing. 50% of the people that are trying to get into real estate, first place they start is wholesaling. And when they start with wholesaling, they're out there learning the basics of how to find properties. And most people that are teaching how to find properties teach the same tired method. So what ends up happening is you end up with a market that's saturated because there's so many people out there doing the same thing over and over again. So you need some good non-traditional methods so that you're not running around, you're not really competing with everybody else, but you you have a nice niche, a nice little system, proven system that works for you. And that's also something I provide. So talk to me if that's something you're interested in, because we're not going to get into it here. But in any case, you can find it within my cheat sheet series on one of the other videos. Or you can easily set up a one-on-one strategy session with me and we'll talk about it there. Now, when you're wholesaling a piece of property and you lock it up in contract, in most cases, you're not gonna have the ability to lease out a property, right? You're not gonna have possession and control unless you have, you've established a great relationship or you already had a great relationship with someone and they give you the freedom to kind of come and go. And in that case, when you do that, one of the things you can do to generate some cash flow while you're wholesaling is you can lease that property out, right? And when you lease it out, you generate some cash flow. And if you're selling it to another investor, the fact that someone's in there and it's already generating cash flow makes it easier for them to just step in, not have to think about anything. And it's basically turnkey. Investors like that. But when you do that, make sure it's on short-term leases, probably month to month. Why? Because you might have an investor that doesn't want to have that tenant in there, or they may want to come in and do some renovation, or you may get an owner-occupant buyer that wants to live there themselves. And so you don't want to have to renegotiate a lease and pay someone to get out because then there goes your profit, right? So if you have that capability, in most cases you won't, but if you do have that ability to lease it out, there's a way for you to generate some cash flow while you're in the process of wholesaling. So let's figure out the basics in wholesaling. First, you're gonna find a property. Without a property to flip, there really isn't anything for you to make money off of. Right? So the main step in wholesaling is finding the property. So you need to take your time and don't rush through any purchases without considering 
all of the variables because there's a lot of properties out there but and i always say one of the easiest things to do is to buy a property but everybody doesn't know how to buy a property and make money when they buy right and so the most ideal scenario would be for you to take a property when you find a property easiest formula is if you can get a property that's at 50 percent of value and that gives you more than enough room to make a couple few thousand dollars minimum for yourself and then pass the rest on to the buyer right that's how you move properties very quickly by taking if you don't have a big list right if you're just getting started by taking a small cut for yourself and leaving a bigger cut for your buyer that buyer is always going to come back to you because they like what you did for them then now it doesn't mean you can't increase your cut later on but in the beginning getting started and establishing your rapport you don't want to try and make all your money on one deal it'll come back it'll come back to you Okay. The second thing is get the property under contract with the seller. This is the next step in finding the perfect property. And that is to get the sellers to trust you enough to allow you to put the property under contract. And this is where your people skills will come into play. Most of these people who are putting their properties out under market value they're typically in a distressed situation or there's something going on where they're motivated. They're very motivated. Could be personal, could be financial, right? Your job as a good wholesaler is to become a good investigator, right? And so as you are talking to these sellers, you need to have an, an open ear, a very sensitive ear to understanding what their situation is, what their needs are. Because again, if you were one of my students or if you know me, you know the basis upon everything we do is win-win. It has to be a win-win scenario. Now, everyone is not always selling the property because their big thing that they need is money. That isn't it. There could be something else. It could be, you know, a parent passed away. It could be um, someone got sick and you know they just don't want this burden over their head it could be that you know they have to relocate quickly and they they just don't want to again have this property over their head when they go right and so they're not necessarily trying to make every penny off of the transaction in fact many of them don't even need the full purchase price when they leave as long as they can trust you as long as you have a good strategy and a good plan a lot of times they'll work on a seller finance or some sort of creative real estate deal with you where you can pick up the property control it pick it up subject to now you're paying the existing mortgage right there's a lot of things that you can do there if you understand how to analyze the deal understand how to analyze their situation you become very sensitive to what they're saying. Sometimes you got to read between the lines. Sometimes they'll tell you straight up what it is. And if you have the ability to satisfy their needs while not compromising in a major way your needs, then you're going to create a great win-win situation where they're going to get what they want and need. You're going to, and in turn, you're going to get what you want and need. And there you go, you got a deal. And more importantly, you've built a great relationship. So the next thing is to sell the property to another investor or to a buyer. And there are many ways that you can go about this. Wholesaling in essence is basically just flipping the property over to an interested investor with little to no work required from you. That's the ideal situation. You don't wanna have any work right unless it's real simple and simple might mean maybe some paint or just some cleanup in some instances not even that like 
if you have a place that's just you know just got a lot of trash and stuff inside you could pay someone you know 50 to 100 bucks to clean that up that's easy right if that's gonna help people to feel better going in right sometimes people can't see through all the the mess and so you, it pays to just maybe spend a few bucks to accomplish that so that way you don't have any hindrances when you're having the conversations during your walkthroughs right but i mean simple things like that i'm not talking about thousands of dollars i'm talking about something that might cost you 100 bucks 200 bucks something like that very very little ideally nothing okay but if you do have the skill set to work on a fixer upper it's not necessarily considered a wholesale scenario you know now you're talking about flipping but there is a hybrid of flipping and wholesaling where if you go in and you do some work it may be cosmetics nothing major right but you might be spending more than just a couple hundred bucks you might be spending maybe five or six in materials and then you know your time but with that you increase the value significantly and you're able to now sell that at a significantly higher purchase price right so that's something you can consider so if you're looking at for every dollar you put in if you can get a hundred dollars back then that's great so if you put five hundred dollars in and you can make five thousand dollars that's great right and so look consider that um, but only in those kinds of scenarios do you want to do something like that you don't want to do that just to make dollar for dollar what you put in or one for two what you put in because then it doesn't make sense why because the better scenario is just to flip it quickly and move on to the next deal because the time you put in to try and make an extra buck and it cost you an extra two three weeks to do that you could have sold that one had the money in your pocket and moved on to another one and 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 be in the process of selling that one too so be mindful Okay, be mindful. So now, as we start to come to a close, let's make sure that you educate yourself about anything and everything that has something to do with wholesaling in the real estate industry. However, again, there's a lot of garbage out there, so be mindful of that too, right? But when you find good stuff, you find good people, then pick their brains, okay? Read. There's no limit to what you can learn or what you can absorb. Develop a reading habit, whether you're reading or doing audiobooks, which I do a lot of. Develop that habit. It may be challenging in the beginning, but it can provide you with great stock knowledge as you progress further on in your career as a wholesaler. Don't cut corners and always bank on the skills of professionals who have been in the field longer than you have. And make sure they've had success as well. And even then, you shouldn't just sit back and relax. Work actively with the team that you put together and learn as much from them as you can as well. Establish great relationships, that's key. Establish great relationships as you go along, if you're going to be in this for the long haul. Then being able to work easily with your team and with people that you've met out in the market is absolutely a requirement. It's important. So a couple other things, work on your brand, make it a point to really be identifiable, right? So make yourself known so make sure people know who you are right have something that separates you from the rest okay and the reason being is because real estate is an industry that's based off of trust you can give yourself a jump start by making yourself an individual that people know and can identify with as well as having remember an online presence 
that will serve you well. And so the final thoughts is to always carefully think about the properties that you're going to acquire, right? The market will be flooded with properties. There's all kinds of properties, all kinds of people buying. And if you go out just picking up anything and everything, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be able to make a profit. You need to make sure that you know how to analyze the properties correctly so that you'll actually be able to make money for the time and the effort that you're putting in. Right? If you get these basics locked in, then you'll be surfing the real estate wave in no time. Okay? So, again, I mentioned earlier, if you'd like to set up a live one-on-one -on -one session with me, click the link below to schedule a free one-on-one -on -one strategy call. And again, I mentioned I'll give you additional insights and tools and um, access to documents and things like that um, so that I can help you get to where you want to go and where, more importantly, where you know you should be. Okay. And then I mentioned earlier that at the end of this video, I'm going to provide you with the downloadable link for the physical cheat sheet. And I'm going to provide that to you when this video stops. However, if you want other free valuable wholesaling resources, then just type in cheat sheet in the comments below, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell. And I'll get you the, not just the cheat sheet, but I'll give you a few other things, a few other bonuses uh, just for hanging in there with you. And then lastly, I just wanna say, I'm glad I had a chance to spend this time with you. And hopefully I'll get a chance to meet you in the very near future. So with that said, as always, God bless you and I'll see you on the next one.